Hi guys, I'm here today with a pocket page layout uh, using the Citrus Twist Kits May Pocket Life Kit and also had a wee challenge for National Scrapbooking Day or International Scrapbooking Day which is to scrap lift this page by Liam. So I am using a kitty photo as well. I've kept my photo horizontal and towards the right and I'm going to use the same sort of colours that she did. So I'm going to use a blue, a uh, sort of peachy corally color and yellow and predominantly white so I'm just starting by cutting down all these papers into three by three squares I've already cut my white squares um, to three by three and then on the diagonal and so then I'm just going to go through and stick a di diagonal white piece to all of the colored cuts now once that's done, I'm going to take them over to my sewing machine and just stitch a line down the diagonal on the white card. Uh, Leanne had a lot of hand stitching in her page, but um, to be honest, I really couldn't be bothered. So, sewing machine it is. I sewed them all in one go, so I am just trimming those all down and then I can lay them out on my pocket page. So I'm just trying to spread the colors out so there's a nice balance across the page. Just flip a couple of them around. I think I'm happy with that for now. So I can carry on. Now Leanne had a really pretty um, floral cluster on her page so I'm going to replicate that down here using the embellishment pack. And there were also um, two sort of labely words on her layout. So I'm gonna, I thought there was a couple I was gonna use um, in the pack, but one actually turned out to be green rather than yellow. So I picked another one. So I've got my two labels there. And I just think I might add a couple of these little hearts as well. So I'm just picking out any that are in um, the pinks and the blues. So now I can put together all my wee cluster down the bottom here. I'm just going to stick down these leaf shapes and then I can add my two labels on top of those. Now I used glue pen for that one but when I flipped it over to cut it, it moved so I ended up really carefully trying to glue it on with my tape runner which worked much better. I wanted to add some pink to it but it didn't really work there so in the end I was sort of going to scatter the hearts around the other pieces of the photo. And then I can add my title with these stickers from my stash. So Leanne's title was Baby Kitty so I'm also going to use the word kitty because that's what my photo is about. So this is about um, my kitty Mel who really just has the best life. I mean, who could, who could argue with that? She basically just lays about in the sun all day. I know I'd be happy with that. And I just couldn't work out where I might put my title. Leanne's was right at the bottom and I wasn't sure that I wanted mine right at the bottom. So I think in the end, I'm just gonna go for right underneath the photo rather than on top of it. So because it's quite a large title, I'm going to have to split it across two pockets. So I'm just careful to make the gap in between. And then I can add in the last heart that I was going to pop on before I add a few little um, puppy stickers. Leanne had used a few enamel dots, so I was using these puffy stickers in place of that just scattering them across the page in a horizontal line. And once I add my damp date stamp, I just have to move one of those puppy stickers. I'm actually using the same date stamp that Leanne did. And that's my scrap lifted page all done. I really love how it turned out. This was such a fun challenge to do. I hope you'll give it a go. If you want to keep watching, there's a couple more videos on screen. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!